Ever pondered the difference between bed bug rashes and scabies rashes? Well, here's a revelation. They're distinct skin conditions caused by different organisms. Yes indeed, they have some key differences. Let's embark on this journey of understanding starting with the bed bug rash. This is caused by bites from bed bugs, which are parasitic insects that feed on blood. The bites typically appear as red, itchy welts that often form a line or cluster. They might bear a resemblance to mosquito bites and are generally flat. These bites are commonly found on exposed areas of the body such as the face, neck, arms and hands. However, they can occur on any part of the body. A noteworthy point is that bed bug bites often cause an immediate reaction with itching and redness occurring soon after being bitten. Now, let's shift gears to scabies rashes. These are caused by the Sarcoptus scabii mite, a tiny parasitic mite that burrows into the skin. Scabies rashes are characterized by small, raised, and often pimple-like bumps. They can form burrows or tracks on the skin, where the mites have tunneled. These rashes are often found in areas where the mites have burrowed such as between the fingers, wrists, elbows, armpits, waist, genital area, and buttocks. They can also affect other parts of the body. Unlike bedbug rashes, the symptoms of scabies including the rash, may not appear immediately after infestation. It can take several weeks for symptoms to manifest. Drawing the line between the two, here are the key differences. The bedbug rash is caused by bites from bedbugs, and appears as red, itchy welts often in clusters. They're commonly found on exposed areas, with no specific pattern, and cause an immediate reaction after being bitten. On the other hand, the scabies rash is caused by infestation with the Sarcops scabii mite. It presents as small raised bumps with burrows or tracks. These are often found in areas where mites have burrowed with a preference for skin folds. The symptoms including the rash may take weeks to appear after infestation. If you suspect you have either condition, it's crucial to seek medical attention for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment. Both conditions can cause intense itching and discomfort and a healthcare professional can provide guidance on managing symptoms and eliminating the infestation. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding these differences can help you take the right steps towards treatment.